I turned my sister into a cartoon character. Wow, she's always been a character. And made some really cute custom stationery, stickers, and an awesome personalized planner. Let me show you how I did it. Welcome to my first video on my YouTube channel. I'm Jay Seho, and I'm a graphic illustrator. I'm always creating, and I've decided to document my artistical adventures. So, I hope you will join me. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and help me grow my channel. Now, let's get into it. First, I started by sketching out my little cartoon sister. Finally, I could do whatever I wanted to her without having to hear her complain. Anyway, I used Procreate on my iPad to sketch and resketch. This took some time until I felt like the character looked enough like her that she could be recognized. You know, I'm always so discouraged at the beginning of a drawing because I feel like this doesn't look anything like the person I'm trying to capture. But I just keep going. I think about the person's features. For example, when I think about them, what features stand out in my mind? What makes them recognizable? Then I try to keep going until I show it to someone and they can guess who it is. I know I was able to achieve it if they can guess it right away. My mom guessed this was my sister on the first try. So I felt like my little cartoon sister was complete. The next step is to upload it to one of my favorite apps. Canva. Now let me tell you, if you don't have Canva and you're an artist, this app is amazing. I'm just so blown away with it every single time. You can upload your artwork and add it to any design you can imagine. Think about this. You can add your artwork to business cards, calendars, presentations, Instagram posts. You can make logos. Fine. I just want to take a moment and interrupt myself as I ramble on and on about Canva, to introduce my very own dog collar brand, The Dog. These dog collars, leashes, and harnesses are not just durable, they are super cute with vibrant colors, and each design was made by me with a lot of love. There is a story behind each design that's special to my heart. I know you will love them like I do. I'll put a link to my shop in the description below. Thank you so much for your support. Now, back to my rambling book covers and you can even edit videos which is what I'm using for this video the point is I love canva this video is not being sponsored by canva but I wouldn't be opposed to partnering up with them let me know I customized the templates that come in canva in a way that I thought would best suit my sister's needs I had to guess because I worked on this project for two months in secret so I couldn't really ask her Hey, what's your dream planner consist of? What kind of things do you write down on a daily, weekly, or monthly basis that helps you feel that you can better organize your life? Nope, I just winged it and hope for the best. Like a lot of things in my life. After the design was complete, it was printing time. Lots of printing. Then sorting and prepping. I wanted to round off the edges so it would look a little more professional. Next, what is a planner without stickers? So I decided to make her some custom stickers of, well, herself. After that was uploading to Cricut Space and into the Cricut. Thank you. 
Next, I used one of the designs I made for the stickers on some blank greeting cards. She does a lot of volunteer work, and I thought it would be great if she had a card with her cartoon self on it that she could send out as part of the work she does. I also made her a little notepad where she can jot down her extensive grocery list. I think the overall project was a success. Of course, no project is perfect and I realized later after printing what seemed like a million pages that I should have just made the pages for the daily planner with more days on the page instead of just one day per page. I ended up using a lot more paper than I had planned on which made the planner really big and I had to purchase an extra large binding wire at the last minute. But I think it turned out really cute. When I gave my sister the gift, she had this really goofy smile on her face. She always smiles that way whenever she gets a gift. She really liked it and said, wow, that looks just like me. Have you ever made something like this? If so, please tell me in the comments below. I will put a link to all the products that I used in the description below. I think it's just so special when someone takes the time to think about you and make something just for you. I really hope that my gifts remind my peeps just how much I love them and how thankful I am to have them in my life. Well, thanks for watching. See you next time.